Hello everyone, today I am going to create these two materials of brick and stone with all of their details and properties in Revit. But before we start, let me remind you to like and share my videos, leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to Revit, you can ask me anytime. So now let's start. For this tutorial, I am going to work in architectural template. And here I am going to create a wall of 8 inches thickness. Then click on it. Then click on edit type. Again click on edit. Then click on this little icon here. And here you can see the material browser dialog box has appeared. Click on create new material. Provide a name to it. I am going to name it stone wall. Now on the right side you can see there are three tabs identity, graphics and appearance. First of all go to appearance and here I am going to load and load the image of the material which I have downloaded from the internet. One thing to always remember is that the image which you download from the internet should always be seamless. It should not have a defined boundary so that when you apply it on a surface, it forms a continuous, continuous surface. And so always search for a seamless material so that the images are easily connected with each other without a defined line or boundary created within them. As it is not a glossed surface, so decrease it to zero. And also, this is a non metallic surface. Describe the class as stone. Then, for this material, you can also describe its name, and also, you can give its description or keywords associated to the material. For this material, I do not need this reflectivity, transparency, self-illumination or anything. I just only need this bump. The tint means basically if you want to add and some sort of color on this surface, you can apply tint. Now I click on this image, a new texture editor dialog box has appeared. From this, you can adjust the size of the image that, for example, it is 4 feet by 4 feet. So you can enter any size depending on the dimensions of the material. Now, first of all, let's render this material without the bump. And Let's see how does it look like. It does not give a very realistic look. It does not have any kind of shades or depth in it. So for that, first of all, open Photoshop and open that image file which we have loaded as a material. Press Alt plus Shift plus Control plus B to make it a black and white image. Then press Control plus L to change the levels of black and white. In the Revit file, the black will create shadows and depths whereas the white will not have any kind of bump. And the grays will have lesser amount of bump created in it so adjust the levels of black and white and grays within this image file save this image file and then go to revit click on this bump and then load the image file that black and white image which you have just created in the photoshop click on this image to open this texture editor dialog box and in here enter that exact same size which you have entered in the image file but uh, from this you can adjust the uh, amount of the bump about how much you want to create the roughness 
and now let us see the render and now you can see clearly the difference between the renders with the bump and without bump and how with the help of bump you can create a more realistic render from here you can select different type of scene for example let's select this wall and because um, i have to apply the surface on a wall you can also set the draft quality render quality by which means the preview which you want to appear and you can also adjust the environment in which this um, this material that in which type of environment this material will appear now go to graphics tab and here click on use render appearance now this color will be applied on this material surface in the shaded view and in here you can apply the uh, surface pattern in case of hidden line view if you if in, in this dialog box i don't have a built-in um, hatch pattern for a stone so i'm going to download a hatch pattern from the cadhatch.com click on this stonework hatch pattern and download a pattern of your own choice click on this icon of new fill pattern provide a name to it click on custom load thus downloaded hatch pattern provide a name to it let's name it stone wall and now enter the scale by which you want to visualize this template this uh, fill pattern And now you can see that this hatch has been applied on this wall. You can also change the color of this hatch pattern. You can provide any color of your own choice. If you want to give it a color, uh, if you want to give it any red, yellow, black, gray, you can change the color from this dialog box. In this identity tab, you can enter the description of the material, its uh, manufacture, its cost, uh, if there is any sort of website. So all of the written data you can enter in this identity tab. This will help you in creating the uh, BOQs, cost estimation, etc. for this material. If you don't want to create a new material, there are always these built-in material materials in, the, in, in every Revit file. Do search the required material in here before you create the new material.
now let's create a new brick material for that I'm going to create a one more wall again open the material browser dialog box then click on create new material provide a name to it let's say brick new then go to appearance tab and here i am going to select wall from this scene after that load the image this is the image which i have downloaded from the internet make sure that it is a seamless image reduce the glossiness to zero and select the class as masonry from the identity tab then go back to appearance tab and set set the uh, image size in the texture editor dialog box add the dimensions according to the dimensions of the material then after that open photoshop and load the exact image which you have just loaded in the appearance tab make it a black and white image by pressing alt plus ctrl plus shift plus b then press ctrl plus l and set the levels of this image so basically i'm going to adjust the blacks and whites and grays of this image use this drop button these drop icons to adjust the blacks and the whites basically what i want is i want the center uh, filling lines to be black and the bricks to be light grayish and whitish so after i have adjusted these color tones like this then in this image adjustment area click on invert so now all of the colors has been inverted save that image file and load it into the uh, material browser bump and adjust the amount at the exact same size as we have it as i have added previously then click ok then go to graphics tab uh, check this user render appearance after that add the brick pattern in the surface pattern H. You can adjust the scale of this hedge from here. And in the cut pattern, I am going to use this steel hedge. In this edit pattern properties, you can uh, rename this pattern. So I am going to name it cut brick. And here you can adjust the scale. Then click OK. Okay. and in the identity you can add the description the comments the keywords uh, the manufacturer the cost and all of the information which will help you in uh, calculating the POQs So that's all now let's render the image okay. 
and now you can see the bumps which has been created on this brick wall you can reduce the bump by reducing the amount in the bump and in this image you can see the comparison between a render with bump and a render without bump so depending upon the outcome which you want you can adjust the properties of the material so that's all for today i hope you like this tutorial if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to revit you can ask me anytime i will meet you guys in the next video till then goodbye and take care and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe